everybody. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you the yo-yo trick, Tub of Tabasco. Uh, this is Dr. Proper yo-yo trick. It's not too difficult. Um, one tip would be to just use a bit of a longer string. Um, other than that though, let's just jump into the video. So first off, I'm just gonna want to throw a trapeze. Okay, so basic first step. And then the next step is gonna be to do a pullover like this. Okay, and so to do that, all we're gonna do, bring our throw hand over top of our non-throw hand, index finger like this and then roll the yo-yo on the inside of our arm, like that. We're just rolling it, and you can kind of push it with our, with our non-throw hand, just like that, just push it around, right, that's it. And then once you push it around, it's back in that trapeze, you just dismount off onto your, um, your middle finger, and that's the first step, it's just like this. Just like that, so we're here, pull it over, and just like that. And actually, when you dismount, you want to go off onto all three of these fingers, right? So your pinky, your index, or your pinky, your ring, and your middle finger, like that. And you want to kind of open it up like this. So it's kind of like a like a C shape, and you want to open it up like that. So like I said, as we're here, we're going to come off, and we're going to actually put all of our fingers into the string, and they want to be under. We're going to open it up as wide as we can, because we're going to do this step right here, and we got to land between our fingers. So you want as much space as you can to open up. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go over top of the yo-yo like that. So it creates this kind of twist. So we're going from behind to the front. So we're not going from the front to the back. We're going from the back to the front. And then you wanna land on this lower string and that will leave you in a green triangle. That'll look like this. You wanna do that in one smooth motion. So instead of coming here and then dismounting and then coming over and landing, you just want to come over and land at the same time so it would look like this so it comes over and it lands just right but there between your fingers so this part of the trick can definitely be um quite tricky as it's you know something that is difficult especially anything that's between your fingers can be really difficult but i would just say try to open up your hand as wide as you can because that'll give you way more space to land so you want to make sure you keep um give the yo-yo a little more air under it rather than kind of just like coming over like this Right, you want to give that yo-yo just a little bit more time in the air, open up those fingers as much as you can, just land just like that. All right, so from there, once we're here, we're just gonna do this motion. So we're just rolling the yo-yo between our arms just like this. And it's really the same motion as this in skin the gerbil right if you know that trick or if you just know this element in general where it comes in between like this same exact element however we are in a green triangle so it just makes it i don't know slightly different different to do um but you really just you're swinging the yo-yo from the outside and then you're keeping it and then you're coming between your arms just like that but it's really the same motion um and it's not too difficult so when we're swinging over once we're here we swing in between our arms as we get right back to where we started like right about here we're going to want to take our throw hand index finger and pluck this string right here that's closest to us so you have actually three strings pluck the middle one and then you're going to dismount the yo-yo away from your body just like that so you want to dismount it to the right off of that string so now it's hanging like this so you're just taking this and then you're just dismounting the yo-yo under so the string the string will go under the yo-yo and then it'll be off just like that Again, we're here, dismounting, here, roll over, and as you roll over, just like that, dismount it. You wanna do that in one smooth motion, just as I did. So you don't wanna stop and then dismount. You wanna, dis you wanna um, roll and dismount smoothly, just like that. Okay, so once you're here, you wanna put both your thumbs in the mount. Okay, so take all your fingers out and just put both your thumbs in. And then you're gonna swing over onto your non-throw hand index finger, just like a double or nothing. And we'll be in this mount. And this will help us get into our next step. So the next step is, is honestly the most difficult part of this trick. And that is you want to dismount off onto your non-throw hand middle finger, just like this. And then we're gonna swing the yo-yo between the strings, this kind of triangle strings, these two strings right here that go from your thumb to your throw hand middle finger. So these, two, these strings right here. You wanna swing the yo-yo between them and then, and you want it to go between them and then it's gonna go and land on a string. So I'll show you right now. So this part of the trick is definitely very difficult and then I'll give you a few tips to make it a little bit easier. So right here, we dismount. You want to go between these strings 
and just like this. So you're gonna go between the strings like that and then land onto this string, okay? But it's not gonna look like that when you do it. It's gonna look like this. Just like that. So something that can make this part of the trick really difficult is getting this triangle to open up enough to where we can get it through. Because if it's too small, it's gonna be you know really difficult to do, and sometimes it's even so small where it's literally impossible to get the area through. So we need to just be able to um, get that big enough, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, so there's a few tips that you wanna know to make sure that that uh, triangle is opened up enough. One is that you wanna grab the string a little bit grab the string a little bit earlier. Okay, so instead of waiting until it comes completely around, just grab it slightly earlier and that'll help. And then another thing is to grab it a little bit higher up. You don't wanna grab it way down here. Okay, because you can see right there, you see how small that is, right? So you wanna grab it when it is a little bit, you wanna grab it a little bit higher up, like more up here instead of down here, more up here. And then that will allow it to open up more. Okay, so let me show you again. You wanna grab it a little bit higher up and then just simply come around and you see how big that triangle is right there when I grab it higher up versus if I were to grab it lower down, it is significantly smaller. If you want to, you can adjust it by kind of bringing your hands closer together and that can make that triangle bigger. Um, but then it kind of met, it goes back because you have to you know, tighten your hands out. Um, so really it doesn't really do anything. So you just have to make sure that you're grabbing up a little bit higher and then also grabbing a little bit earlier to open up that string. Okay, and then if you do those two things and you have the string opened up enough to get through, you wanna pop it through just like this, pop it through and then land it on that front string that's connected to your non throw hand middle, just like that, that front string. And then pop it. And then from here, what we wanna do is pop it over to the string that's connected to our throw hand middle finger pop it over to the string that's connected to our ninth thread thumb, just like this. So you show you guys that part again. So we're here, we're gonna land onto this front string, pop over here, pop back onto here, right? You're popping it out to this string and then pop to this string right here. And then let, let everything go except for your thumb. Okay, so once we've done that and we are in that, it's gonna actually be a double wrap triangle so we're here, popping onto this, this, and then drop everything. We're gonna be left in a double triangle like this. And so what we're gonna need to do is actually pop it out and then swing it over the front to the back to get rid of that, that uh, twist and then land it again to get into a triangle. So I'll show you that again. It's not too complicated. It's just like this. So once we've gotten these steps and we're here, all we need to do is pop it out Go from the front to the back and just swing that over and then swing it on just like we did in the first step. Um, you just want to make sure you're not going from the back to the front and then doing it because then you're going to be in a triple twist. So you want to just go over and kind of in one smooth motion, just land it in like that. So once we're back in this triangle, it's going to be the same exact step as before. We're just going to swing through just as we did in the first step. So we're just swinging through our arms like that. However, how we're going to dismount is going to be very different. So how we're gonna dismount this time is we are going to actually pull it out from the side just like that. However, we're gonna keep it on the inside of our arm. So before we pulled it out and it goes to the outside, however, we actually wanna kinda of turn this way, open up, and then pop it out and let it go on the inside of our arm just like that. So something that you wanna do is that when you're doing this, you actually wanna, you don't wanna be facing forward. You wanna turn your body to the side and practice it and, and do it that way because that's going to be the only way you're able to do this. So you swing, turn your body to this side, open up your arms very wide, pop it out. It's kind of come out, but instead of just being there, it's also going to be on the inside of your arm just like that. And that's the only difference. Instead of going on the outside of your arm, it's on the inside of your arm now. So that'll look like this. Just like that. Okay. So really, I mean, it can be kind of confusing. At first, I wasn't really able to do it. Um, and it took me a little while to learn, but you're just popping out from the front, but instead of going on the outside of your arm, you're just simply going on the inside of your arm. And something that can happen that can be a little bit um, challenging is that this string here can be in the way. So you wanna just kind of move it out of the way like that. You can kind of twist your hand 
to make sure it just like move out of the way a little bit easier and that'll just kind of allow it to get by that string. But from there, we're basically almost done with the trick. So we need to go over here and then open up and we're gonna land on this bottom string, pop up on this bottom string. And then we're gonna go over to the string on top. I'm just gonna underpass it like this. Drop these strings off lightly. And you'll notice we're kind of in this um, green triangle and then pop it up. And you'll get into an undermount where you can find. All right, so I'll go over all the trick uh, steps again, just one more time for you guys. Okay, so first thing, we're here. We're gonna do this dismount, this rollover, go over into the green triangle, roll, dismount, we're here. We're gonna come over, oops. Once we're here, we're gonna come over and then we are going to get between these two strings, just like that, and land right here. And then pop over onto this string, pop over onto this string, drop everything, put our hand in again, take this out, go around the back, land again. Then we're gonna swing between our arms like we did before, come out, but we're gonna stay inside the arm with the yo-yo, just like that. Land onto this bottom string with the yo-yo, pass over to this string, drop, and then drop everything, and boom, just bind like that. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.